What's up nerds, my name is Corey Bergeron and you are watching Corey Bergeron Recording. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about something that I've wanted to try out for a long time and that is a Warm Audio 1176. In this recording studio right here, here at Pebble Studios, we have a Urii 1176. I believe it's a Rev F, I don't know, it's one of the blackface ones. Uh, I know it's been around in older Ottawa studios, it's got a lot of history to it and this specific compressor I use all the time. Whenever I'm tracking vocals, uh, I like to use it. I either use that or the distressor. I kind of go back and forth depending on what I'm going for. But I use the 1176 more than 50% of the time on vocals. I use it a lot on bass guitar. Uh, I used to use it on snare drum. I don't use it too much anymore on snare drum. And I, uh, I usually, throughout a recording session, I'll have like one of my Neumann mics set up going into a Neve preamp through an 1176. So it's kind of like, the quick mic, if I need to record a shaker or an ooh ah part or whatever, when I have it set up like that, I'll, I'll usually just be adjusting the input gain to get the desired amount of compression, and I leave the attack and release ratio about the same. Fast release, slow attack, or slowish attack, depending on what I'm trying to go for. But anyways, I've seen the warm audio stuff uh, all over the net. Uh, I've seen a lot of people talk about it. It is very affordable compared to, uh, I guess, the Urii real deal one that I have. The Warm Audio 76 here in Canada is about $800 Canadian, which is probably somewhere around $600 US. And the Urii Blackface one, I just did a quick little eBay search and I saw it as low as 2,500 bucks, all the way up to like four or five grand. So uh, quite the price difference. Um, what I'm curious to see is if there is a sound uh, quality difference, if there is, how much, and what I think about it. At the time that I'm recording this, I have not tried it out yet. Um, I just have it on, uh, the chair beside me. So without further ado, I am going to take, uh, I'm gonna take some audio and I'm gonna run it through. And I will just do an AB comparison, let you know what it, you're listening to. And I'll also leave a link down below to uh, the files so you can download them and listen to them on your own system. I want you to keep this in mind while you're watching this. I would love to know what you think about it. If you have any experience with the Warm Audio 76 or any other 1176, uh, replicas or knockoffs. I would also love to, to hear your experience with those, but without further ado, I'm gonna run some audio into the Uri 1176 and the Warm Audio 76. I will uh, show that to you, and then I'll let you know what I think about it. So let's do that. self righteous says your wicked hand not a finger you will lift. For anyone else but for yourself, you will fall and give. The smoke is clearing out. Some righteous is your wicked hand, not a finger you will lift. For anyone else but for yourself, you will fall and gap. The smoke is clearing out. Cool, so I just shot out the Warm Audio 76 versus a Urii 1176, and I have to say that the difference is very, very minimal. Uh, when I was shooting them out, I noticed that the parameters on the, on the two units were different, so I had to send uh, a little bit more input on my 1176 for it to compare to the Warm Audio one and I just uh, used my ears to get them uh, sounding the same as well as I looked at the gain reduction meter to assure that it was hitting the same amount of gain reduction. Over the three examples that I used, I liked, uh, or I, I, I changed up the, uh, the attack setting on the units just to kind of show how, uh, how those sound. So for example, on the bass guitar, I had a faster attack to kind of squash the transient a little bit. And then on the room mic, I had uh, the slowest attack to let as much transient through and then on the vocal I had it somewhere in the middle just to kind of uh, keep the vocal in place. Now I have to say a quick little disclaimer, I have no idea what the hell are in either of these units. Uh, I am definitely uh, not 
uh, familiar with the electronics that and the components that comprise these units. So I don't really know what the difference is in from uh, strictly the parts that are in this unit, but I can say that through this little experience and taking a short little uh, period of time to throw a couple different audio samples through, they definitely sound like similar compressors. Um, so, I'm going to give the Warm Audio 76 a thumbs up. If you have any experience with it, please let me know in the comments section down below. Again, I will include a Dropbox link with uh, all the audio, the original, the Uri 1176, and the Warm Audio 1176, so you can listen to it by yourself. Make sure to download it from Dropbox, because if you're streaming off Dropbox, it's similar to streaming it off YouTube, where it degrades the quality a little bit. Anyways, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by dropping a like. Excuse me, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below telling me anything that you want. This is the end of the video. I will see you in the next one. God bless.